Hey folks, Trace Monk here, playing some more Crusader Kings 2 as Emperor Cosmos the Hammer of the Roman Empire, and we are moving our retinue troops down toward East Anglia because our truce runs out in October? No, November. November 25th. So, as soon as that truce is up, we're taking that land back. Hey, Great Moravia is all... Oh, really? Oh, I guess we did kind of grant it as a landed title, didn't we? Kingdom of Great Moravia. Oh, hey, dude. Dude, convert. What is your guys' problems? I can't demand a conversion from this dude. Hmm, strange. Uh... Whatever. Oh yeah, hey, we got any, like, good decisions we could take here? Hold a feast, but that requires it to be November. Hold a summer fair. Yeah, let's do that. We'll hold a summer fair. Gregoria Macedon, my niece. I don't remember if that goes down per week. Temple of Derry from Ruadin. Okay. Why do I know or care about that? Temple of Derry, which is up there in land I do not control. Uh oh. Beat the monkey with a stick. Here's your money. Don't let me see you again. See you, buddy. Again. Hey. Well, Hungary worked out that little border problem. Nope. The heck? Out of oh wait, there are like six counties in there, aren't there? Yeah, there are. Okay. Well, I guess I grant you that. And I grant you that. Now go assemble all those armies and take out those damn Vikings. Yes, it was great fun while it lasted. Um... And I'm alive again. I'm no longer ill. Holy crap, man. Can't do it. Still can't do it. Oh, I have a granddaughter who is ill. And a dwarf. This is like a family line of dwarves. I mean, what? I'm a dwarf. My heir is a dwarf. My father was a dwarf. His father was not a dwarf. That was that was out kind of where it started. Granddad, well, dad, was a dwarf, and we continued the family tradition. Family line, however you want to put that. Oh. 
We're almost past the Vassal Levy situation. Serped the county of Glamorgan from Despot Ainbert of Galicia. Good. Now if I could only get him to let me... Oh, there we go. Like, he ain't yours. Come on. Oh, did it let, did it let him go? Oh, I guess it did, and it just didn't say anything. Fine. Transfer vassalage. Now England is England mostly and Wales is Wales. Those still look like very good force limits. Do we have the capability? We could claim those, but we can't do any sort of like holy war thing. Darn. Wish we could holy war them. Goodbye, East Anglia. We shall smash your armies, even, even with our largely leaderless ones, because we vastly outnumber you. Um, this war will be over very quickly. Come on. Oh look, over. When did, wait, does it say when we started it? No, it lasted one month. Close enough for my tastes. Okay. Hey you, vice royalty, uh oh. Well, that's not good. You're supposed to be under somebody. You're supposed to be part of Bulgaria. Ta da! Okay, except for this. Who is. What is the. What is the thing here? Galicia still has that. Kent. Yeah, okay. Um, you're gonna really not like me. My nephew does not need a wife. He needs... A fine, upstanding military education. Uh, what? Oh, I am an elector in West Francia. Or at least... I ignore it. Um, I need Count of Surrey. Usurp, whatever title that is. No, transfer vassalage. Uh, nope. 
Sorry. Not happening, dude. When do I have access to these others? No. Um. 1079, and then it's 77 for him. What about this guy? May 76. And August 77. Pretty sure. The new, I'm not going to have sufficient liege levies over here. They even wage a conventional war. Eh, well, could wage a conventional war. As long. Well, no, he couldn't call in Castile because I control Castile. Or, I think. Any of Lancaster, basically he'd have no allies. So I could do that. Alright, well that's next on the agenda then. Uh, Stratagos, Stuart Stratagos Sabas, to hire ruffians. Uh, no. Don't want you to hire ruffians. No good. We have an English revolt. How's that going? 42% in favor of the King of England. No, buddy. Not happening. Attack there by the chief of Vestisland. He have a lot of money. He has a decent chunk of money, so he might hire mercs. is a heretic he's only a baron and you're my ecumenical patriarch so I'm gonna agree with you watch we'll wind up with not enough to actually siege anything okay let's put our good military commanders in charge here We don't have the overwhelming numbers we usually do, but it's still more than three times his size. Alright, just sit there and siege then. County of Orkney. I don't I don't I don't think that makes any difference to us. Uh oh. I have a new heir. Uh oh. My genius son died after a period of illness. Son of a bitch. Well, at least I did marry my other boy off to good stock, even though he has not produced a child yet. Let's see, who is... Who's in the line of succession? My daughter and my granddaughter. Okay, well, 
I'd probably be kind of bad if my granddaughter got it because she's a dwarf. Is my is my daughter a is, is my daughter there a dwarf? No. Okay. So it would not be good if my daughter got it either, but it'd also not be overwhelmingly bad. Uh, and of course, while I'm doing this, I can't declare any other wars. Oh, the Duchy of Franconia. Okay. Well, we'll give it to the adult in the room. Over in mind. Oh my goodness, are you guys going to succeed at this siege before the siege stuff whittles you down to where you're not able to siege anything anymore? sword and would have been a great courtier after my death. Oh wait, this is this is related to my current son. 90% chance he gets craven, 10% chance he gets brave. Well, crap. You're going to hereby be officially like the worst no. In fact, this tells me something that I should have done before. I need you to get married. Uh, get married matrilineally. Do we have anybody that's good candidate? Teen year old genius in Tripoli. Seems good to me. I'm entirely fine with losing 75 prestige from that marriage. Oh, the painful auto saves. And just the painful calculations. The game has been running for over 200 years now. There's some definite issues occasionally regarding. Um. Hey, can I, does that mean I can usurp Spoleto? No. You usurped the title County of Grisson. Oh, wait. Oh. No, that's Burgundy. Okay. Burgundy took some of his land. Right. Right. That's supposed to be yours. Good. I guess that still means he's not out of war yet. Italy... Is at war with him over Forenza. And. Lotharingia. Is at war with him. Over Baden. Yay. Yes, adopt the marshal's ideas. Definitely want that tech spread rate. They're not going to be able to siege 
any of the rest of that town. <sighs> oh, that's going to be kind of funny. Thousand. We recently gave you a decent number there. You can take that. Uh, why do I have, or actually, it? them back right now because they're at war with him. Dang it, guys. Trying to do some consolidated stuff here. Lucia Castile and Asturias have been raised too long. Who has the most boats? Although, honestly, that's going to take way too dang long. It doesn't, doesn't have you, it doesn't have a really good interface for saying, I want to raise boats, and I want to see who has the most boats. In my, no, he's not. Um, he's imprisoned by Stratagos Diogenes the Whisperer. No, I don't want to grant him independence. Maybe. Venice doesn't have enough troops. Is this part of our... Uh... Oh, well, I can't tell because we have vassal levies raised. Oh, crap. Uh, let's raise Africa. Stick them on a boat. And get them over there to Galicia. Find that. Send that. Nope, can't usurp that. I mean, we have the ticking war score from over there in Galicia, but that's not really the point. Get off the boat. Next time, we'll hopefully reach the stunning conclusion of the Siege of Galicia. I just wish the bastard would give up already. I'll see you then. Bye bye